Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, Old World Blues, playing as Vault City in the final episode of this campaign. So, uh, just a few comments, because right now, we are poised to go to war with the Western Brotherhood of Steel, which we can go to war by September 23rd. So, a few comments such as, why do I use demo companies, or why do I not really talk about why I don't use demo companies? Well, that's because demo companies, they're... At the latest update of this game... They got nerfed a little bit. Let's let's take a look here. Can I edit this? I cannot edit the new Canaanite militia divisions, which I'm not sure why I have new Canaanite divisions, but let's see. Let's just go, let's duplicate this. And take all this stuff off real quick. Just take it all off. And take a quick look at infantry. Move that. Alright, let's grab one of these bad boys. So infantry is pretty normal, pretty standard stuff, 2713. If I want to throw in a demo company. That would get us 19 more breakthrough, 21 soft attack, and 11 more hard attack, which, you know, isn't bad. So 19, 21, and 11. But infantry gives you 37 more defense, gives you a little bit of breakthrough, a little bit more soft attack, 16 soft attack compared to demos, which is, demo gives you 5, five more soft attack and 5 HP, even though infantry gives you 25 HP, gives you more organization in it with Demolition equipment, you lose organization. Actually, that's a big difference of 27 organization between these two. Holy cow. So, I mean, really, demo battalions, eh, they're not really that great. They got nerfed in the latest patch. I, I wouldn't mind using them as, like, support companies because so, those are still good, but I really don't use demo companies too much. Another comment was how I was, like, you know, complaining about stuff and, you know, things like that for the past two episodes, sort of. Uh, like, if divisions don't have enough organization, they won't move. Which is true, but that wasn't my problem, which I probably should have showed you what my issue was. But regardless, I don't want to be too negative in this video. The last two, like I said, the last two videos were you know, me being pretty negative about stuff. But I don't want to do that too much, too much in this episode. So, the biggest thing with the war against the Brotherhood will be not the Brotherhood themselves. Like, you know, 5,000 manpower. They only have 42 divisions. The Mojave chapter has 19 divisions. A lot more manpower than I expected. But really, the Steel Rangers, uh, they have 3,000 manpower, which isn't bad, but they have a lot of divisions. So let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, they have one division per tile in some locations. I'm not going to call them my allies, so really the goal is to here is to hold and drain enemy of the resources. Uh, I have to take out this part with my APCs, which should be good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And we're holding down here because they have a lot of guys down here, which makes sense. Cool. All right, well, and there's really not much else to do. I did spend like 30,000 manpower making a ton of APC divisions. Actually, I'll show you that right before we go to war. And, oh, tanks. Cool. And I put some tanks on Wallace, which is muy bueno. Muy bueno. So, uh, Dweller Horatio, you have 11 heavy robots, 21, let's uh, see, robot APCs, I think, or something like that. A shining example. Oh, vault building, political power versus Ruby Valley. I had to do that. It doesn't really matter. You guys, 34 divisions of just regular robots, which is, eh. And then we got a lot of APCs in the, under him and four tanks. But Stanley has a lot of all APCs. So I've been really focusing on a lot of APCs, and they cost a lot of manpower, man. These APCs, they're great. They're really great. 560 manpower compared to robo security teams, which takes 105. It is what it is. I'm only on two-year conscription. Pretty good. Still want to core more stuff, but we'll see what happens, you know. You never know. And we need 379 political power. Let's just go to war. Because I did did throw on some planes here, too. Cool. So are we going to get attacked? Yes, no, maybe so. You guys are doing okay. Oh, uh, you know what? What if we just bum-rushed them? And we have a lot of green. Because I actually have quite a bit of air support around here, hopefully. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I got 50 planes, 200 planes, 100 planes for these guys. Uh, you guys are doing okay. Let's see what happens, you know. And the Western Mojave chapter, Mojave Brotherhood, not chapter, but Brotherhood has joined the war, which is good, so I can just take out this area. And then they might attack me here. Could you guys win here? I don't want to move here just yet too much, just because... Actually, do you even have orders? 115. I don't want to get involved with this side until I take out the rest of the Brotherhood, so... Let you guys do that. Don't do too much there. And y'all do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. 
good. Good stuff. And APCs move pretty quick, so not too worried about that. Oh, and here come the Steel Rangers, and they immediately attack me like crazy. Look at that. All that red. Oh, my goodness. But I'm surprised with the Washington, Bro Washington Western Brotherhood. Their divisions aren't really strong. They have a lot of infantry compared to, like, power armor. Because our guys have anti-tank. Our APCs have anti-tank on them. But, uh, yeah, it didn't make too much sense. So, really, my goal is to beat up the Western Brotherhood first, and then focus on the Steel Rangers, just because they have a lot of divisions. And we're holding out pretty well. I'm mean, not going to lie, this is, this is a lot, doing a lot better than I thought. Okay, let's take a quick look. Oh, Hopeville. Sure, why not? Let's add them in. We lost 48 guys versus 3,000. That's pretty good so far. Pretty good. You guys, give them maybe... Uh, I don't want to... Uh, maybe a, a little bit more of a squirt. Because then we can throw in these guys. Over here to help ho hold Hoover Dam for a while. That will probably be pretty good. And please take, take, take. Shake, shake, shake. Cool. Thank you very much. Now please hold Hoover Dam. We have the dam. Just please get down there quickly. Because you guys can do pretty darn well by going zoom, zoom. And we're doing pretty well. Uh, yeah. The robots, they're doing what they can do. Uh, I've been doing some naval tech stuff, I guess, as well. It's late game, you know, 2287. Whatever, you know. Good stuff. Help settlements. We get... 700 manpower. Is that really right? 700 manpower a month? Steel layering. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. Just... Oh, we don't want to get too far down here because then we get cut off. Uh, they're attacking me again. Yeah, I would really like it if these guys could... Oh, what? What just happened? Uh... Whoa. Whoa. Um, well, this is weird. What happened to your armies? Uh, okay. This is new. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is new. <laughs> what the heck? Well, whatever. I could let you spread out. This is a, probably a really bad idea. But let's do this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, just let the main army up here go ham. Steel Rangers, do you have any more... Oh, wait, we have ciphers. Don't want to forget that. There you go. Nice, good stuff. That's some good stuff. Yeah, just break the Brotherhood. That'll be good. You guys hold there. You guys are doing great. Actually, send one guy down here as well. Go there, 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 there. Very good. Do we have something going on? Oh, yeah. Payment. Cool. Very good. Just spread out. Spread, spread, spread. Uh, we, we might be able to attack here. But, 136 divisions. That's a lot. They're out of manpower, so if we attack, they can't replace their losses. You guys are down here, which... uh, Yeah, that, that attack doesn't look like it could go very well. How about you guys go at it and uh, put them out of their misery? Thank you. And you guys are over there, just kind of holding. Having a good time as the game lags very hard. Okay. Okay. Sure. Holy cow, look at that manpower. Sure. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Holy crud, that was fast. Hopeville. Could I... Would it, would it be possible for me to, um... Hope? I mean, they're, <laughs> they're helping me out and I want to take them apart. Oh, that'd be funny. Uh, how are you guys doing? Hubert. I guess you guys are moving in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's... Oh, boy. Oh, no. What do we need? Oh, my God. We need so many... Oh, my God. That's a lot of robots. Yeah. Division designer. Um... Yeah, I wasn't really prepared for that, I guess. Let's edit this. Let's duplicate this. I'm going to call it uh, that. Can I remove some of these guys? Because, uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of resistance. Even though this is the final episode of this campaign, it doesn't really matter too much. Get rid of some of this. That'd be good. Get rid of that. Two. Well. I mean, I guess uh, these protectrons aren't really good. Yeah. 
Just if we could use less robots, that would be ideal. Especially not heavy robots. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, I would really like infantry, though. I would really like infantry, because the resistance is going to go straight up. If that's the case, we're going to go straight in. Aggressive maneuvers. So we can end this as fast as possible, so we don't get a kill too too quickly. But Mojave chapter capitulated pretty quickly. Manpower didn't go down too much, actually, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Can I core anything else around here? Oh, yeah. Argonite? Sure, why not? Cost quite a bit. Losses thus far, 1,000. Makes sense. Versus 33,000. Pretty good. APCs. APCs, for me, are the way to go. With tanks. With tanks. Don't forget those tanks. Tanks are pretty good. Now, how do I put this on? I can't even see, like, the other army. I don't know why this is messed up like that. You know what? Put it like that, I suppose. There you go. One, two, three. Put you back under... I think it was Horatio that we were using. Oh, actually, you know what? Don't even do that. You guys are up here. You guys come down this way. Have a good time. You guys are, like, over here. And you guys should probably still have a good time. And then, dude with the tanks. You should, like, come over here and take Lost Hell's Bunker eventually. There you go. Perfect. Let time go on. I don't think that the AI or enemies can really hold up against us. The Steel Rangers definitely can't. They definitely cannot, which is very cool. Uh, so we just we need a casual 80,000 support robots. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, a casual 80,000 support robots. I mean, don't don't you just love it? That's beautiful. I just build more if you can. We're making almost over 80 a day, which is awesome, which is Pretty good, not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Uh, we're doing pretty well, yeah. Destruction of Ranger Citadel, great. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's... Oh, APCs are the future, my friend. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh yeah. 55,000 versus probably 2,000 losses. Mmm, yummy. So yeah, another comment I just thought of. Yeah, it doesn't make too much sense why, if you like integrate a puppet, it doesn't make too much sense why you don't get higher compliance when you integrate them. So, but you know, just... Just toy four things. Ah, good. Opil, you're next. Steel Rangers, you're gone. Love it. Actually, can six guys take these fellas out? I don't know. <laughs> They're helping me, so I go to war with them. Makes sense. You guys can struggle. We could use a little bit more army XP. That's okay. You know what? Hmm. We need a lot of this. Let's see. Maybe remove you. Throw on some... Infantry. Do something like that. Replace it with doggos. Move that. We don't need that. Militias. It doesn't really matter how many militia divisions you put on, I think. So. There you go. Something like that. Maybe remove this. Oh, I don't have enough XP for that. What if we decided to say this one? Costs more manpower, but, you know, it is what it is. That might help reduce the cost drastically so we can get more... Oh my god, we lost 70,000. We need, need 70,000 less now, which is awesome. Which would definitely help. I really don't care, though, too much. It doesn't really matter. Oh. What else have we got down here? Oh, look at that. Special platoon stuff. That doesn't matter to us. Sure. Sure. Sure, yeah, why not? Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Uh, you guys, come back up here. Thank you. Everyone has orders. They're doing a great job, and we're still holding down here. This guy's going to get a lot of experience. Jeffrey? Oh, we're going to lose that area? No, maybe yes. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Mojave base, huh? Sounds great. Capitulate him. Oh, how are you guys doing? San Jose. San Jose. Oh, Mojave base is their own area. Yeah, yeah they actually beat me back a little bit. How much manpower do they got? Like, you know, that oh, they're out. Good, 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 good. So, how much further do we have to go to capitulate them? That's a good question. Uh, doo -doo -da 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 -da. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Please, my friends. Uh, you should all be on going crazy. Oh, Wallace, you're done. Nice. Well, you're not really done. You'll never be done here. I promise you that. Let's go right ahead. You should go crazy enough. And the Western Brotherhood is 68% of the way there. That's a little bit less than I thought. Now, this might be a little bit of a problem, but then again, uh, we should probably get some planes, actually. Uh, Armored Annihilators, where are you? 
Thank you. They still try to attack me. Great. Future Air Force. Awesome. Just do that. Doesn't matter to us. Go ahead and help attack. They might put up some resistance, whatever. No one cares. Uh, Alright, guys. Please keep moving in. You're doing a great job. Y'all are doing okay, kind of, as well. Uh, please, I know... Actually, you have orders to move. You might not technically have orders to move here, but just do something like that. Dweller James is doing a great job. Forrester. Yeah, let's get Forrester. Why not? You guys are doing great up here. You guys are doing... Well, you're doing. Oh, Jeffrey was wounded. Unfortunate for him. Unfortunate for a fellow of, like him. Losses, a thousand... Actually, we might not even hit 2,000. 70,000, 63,000, very good. Hope Bell is not having a good time. Ashton? Hmm. Ten days, you say. The struggles, the struggles are real. Jeffrey, ooh, suicide runs. Hey, thank you, Hope Bell. I don't have enough garrisons to garrison that area, but whatever. Uh, life giver, let's do that. Technology, thank you. I don't need you. Thank you. Uh, oh, more APCs. Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Camo's annexed. Great. All right, Nicholas. You really don't have much else to do. We can go to war with these guys very soon because we can. Very good. Very very good. Oh, you guys are done as well. That is the Washington Brotherhood. Have any other claims anywhere or something? Like, are we not moving up or something? Seems a little slow. Not gonna lie. That's alright. Please just keep moving in, my boys. My guys. They can't really hold us back. Yeah, they got no manpower. They have 13 divisions, so we killed off like three quarters of their army already. Very nice. Alright, guys. Please do not make the same mistake as what happened during my new Mariposa campaign. Please, please, please. Alright, so you're making the same mistake. You refuse to move, even though I tell you to move. So be it. You're going to manually, con gonna manually control them. You gotta move. I don't care what happens. You're gonna manually move. Or just go down there. Circle destroy, ballista. Wartime administration, reaffirm our control. That's fine. Scorpios, cool. Doesn't even matter. I'm, not, I'm still a little surprised that they still haven't capitulated. There they go. Now they've capitulated. Great. Great. Wow, thanks for uh, taking all this over, uh, Mojave Chapter. I do appreciate it. That's a lot of score. Nice. Thank you. And then, thank a you. Awesome. And before we're done, I still want to explore the vaults. So, we got a few vaults. Ooh, Farnsworth Expedition. Sure. Explorer Vault 13 is still ridden with the bodies of the Death Claws and Vault Dwellers. Ooh, look at that. That had marked its force abandonment. There is, however, a half-used Gek. We could still use a Gek to turn this vault into a proper settlement, or we could use it to accelerate our research. Gek would like to turn Vault 13. Settlement? Core? Research speed? Would like changes this into Vault Arroyo? Ooh, I like that one. And let us do this one. Vault 15 Survey. It's the original, or the origin, of Shady Sands and the Great Cons, and is housed... Raider gangs, vault dwellers, and NCR citizens. The years have not been kind to her, however, and between the NCR's looting and its, and its not-so-savory inhabitants prior, it's in poor condition. To return Vault 15 to livable standards, we would need to use a good amount of our existing infrastructure, tree lay foundation, and replace some more electronics-intensive parts. An alternative, however, would be to make sure the vault is safe to enter and simply open it as a heritage site for both wastelanders and vault dwellers alike. Heritage? Oh, wow. Plus point three. Um... No, it's going to be a usable vault. So, Vault 29, though. Not far from the villages of the Twin Mothers tribe, which is all the way over here, I think. Yeah, Twin Mothers area. Themselves, made up of the descendants of the vault dwellers, sits a non-functioning vault tech facility. A master control console for the Zack supercomputer this vault was equipped with stands in a low-power state. The vault terminal, or the computer terminal, yields two options. Re-establish Satlink, or restore Zack's defaults. Satlink? What does that say? Vault dweller. Hold on, Vault Dweller. Uh, well, please work my eyes. Vault Pew. Did I miss it right there? No. Um, Vault Dweller. As any Vault Tech Nation, delve into every vault. Yeah, awesome. I've never got that one before. More monthly population and research speed. Restore defaults. 
Uh, let's re reestablish sat link, and then, with the matter of the supercomputer settled, the choice of what to do with the remaining twin mothers and the vault must be made. We could give them citizenship and establish ourselves an outpost in the vault, or we could give them some autonomy. Settlement? Pfft. No. Are you kidding me? I don't believe in your uh, autonomy. Cool, I'll just do that, and because that's pretty much done. I'm done with this campaign. It, vault City, even though I struggled a little bit with Vault City. I struggle from time to time. I still had fun, though. I generally still had a lot of fun. Vault City is a lot of fun to play, especially when you start off with robots, and you have a good time with everyone who can't pierce you early on, until the, when they can really pierce you. Have you ever... I've never seen a minor nation have that much manpower before. Holy cow, 118,000? That's insane. But, you know what? If you've never played Vault City before, I would highly, highly recommend it. And don't make the same mistakes that I made. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow in probably a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.